Hi Capricorn, E-Ray Taronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers, as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you to navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the blessings or the opportunities and assistance aspecting you, and even look forward to the blessings. Now, this ranges from the 18th through the 24th on Saturday. I implore you to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign videos because it paints a clearer picture of what you're actually dealing with for the entire week. If you don't know your sun, moon, and rising and you need your chart done, please don't hesitate to contact me via Messenger, uh, Facebook, or you can email me at mentalchattermusings at gmail.com. Now, this month's newsletter is celebrating all Joan July. I would love for you to dive into our newsletter. You can find it on my page, eraybooks.com. You can find it on my page, uh, Eray Tyronic on Facebook, or you can go to my email, um, Lord have mercy. You can go to my website, <laughs> at eraybooks.com. Now, this week, we are giving away, Mental Chatter Musings is giving away several audiobook versions of, unfortunately, Francine, Joan Vassar's romance, contemporary dark romance. In addition to that, we're giving away two autographed copies, one of Unfortunately Francine and one of her epic novel, Black. So stay tuned. We're well into the book giveaway and um, I still have more books to give away. Okay, so stay tuned to my page for that. Make sure you check out the snippet, the sneak peek of Unfortunately Francine in the newsletter. You'll thank me once you read it, especially the ladies. You'll love it. Now on Wednesday, June 20, July 21st, the uh, on Clubhouse, Diamonds World is back with Blacktop, AKA Dean Swift at 7 p.m. He's gonna be chatting about his new novel, Innocent, okay? Now in addition to that, on Thursday, Diana has another interview. That's with Cheryl Gordon Love. She's the author of Peace in the Storm. They'll be discussing her catalog as well as her literary journey thus far. Now, don't forget, you can always uh, you know, check out Freestyle Friday as well with the Facebook group I See You Reading and Chatting. Authors give you their impromptu freestyles according to a subject of the ladies of I See You Reading's choosing. If you'd like a chance to participate as an artist, don't hesitate to contact Ebony Evans, the president of I See You Reading and Chatting Book Club, okay? Now, without any further ado, let's get into it, Capricorn. I had to light the sage for you because, um, yeah, I had to get the sage going for you because you had um, on the bottom of your deck, you got test of faith. You're going through something right now. Some type of test of faith is, is being, you know, activated. You're going through and uh, it's, it's prompting you to push through. Okay, so I had to light the sage for you. Now, Venus moves into the sign of Virgo trining Pluto, and the sun moves into Leo trining Chiron and Aries, as well as the south node in Sagittarius. And of course, we can't forget about the full moon in Aquarius, coupled with Saturn, the planet of restrictions and responsibilities, and trining the north node in Gemini. So I've already said a mouthful, but let's look at what this actually means for you. If you have any placements within three degrees of the degree that I mentioned, more or less, then you know that these planets will affect you more powerfully. Okay, now today the sun is in Cancer. This is your area of relationships. Okay, this is what is being illuminated right now. This was what has been illuminated. You could find yourself getting some good advice from an elder or even a mentor today. Make an effort to listen. You know, it's somebody that you have a relationship with. They could be giving you some type of keys to success or help you navigate a situation. Okay, now with the moon in Scorpio, trining the mercury and cancer both at 11 degrees is asking you not to obsess over where you went wrong or those determined to remind you of that fact good communication and advice could come as a blessing to salvage what can be salvaged don't allow yourself to get depressed or paranoid it only makes things worse okay remember that you everybody's gonna go through challenges you got to grow through what you go through okay now these blessings are aspecting you in your area of uh, relationships, in your area of Scorpio, okay? So, um, that's funny, it could be a Scorpio person helping you to accomplish goals, uh, someone within your networks of people, someone within your social groups and things like that, okay? Focus on those 
blessings that you have aspecting and coming through, okay? Don't focus on the challenges. Now, on Monday, Cancer, let's see, hold on. Your challenges, let me let you just let you know kind of where your challenges are as far as Cancer. It's in career relationships and it's in uh, home and family. So you're having issues right now with career relationships and family, home and family relationships, unfortunately, okay? According to the uh, astrology. Um, now, home and family has Chiron there in Aries, so you can heal those. But your, some of your career relationships, you know, you just got that, you've got, you, you're you having some issues there, you know, with some people. Now, on Monday, the sun in Cancer is at 27 degrees. It's trining the moon in Scorpio at 26 degrees, just like I was saying before. Your relationships with some type of friend or social group or um, your networks of people or something like that, okay? But it's asking you to get out in nature, be more active, move around. You might have a deep affection for somebody, uh, you know, in a relationship or something like that, but in family that could overtake you on that day. Take some time to spend time with home and family on that day, okay? Take some time to nurture your relationships on Monday. Also on Monday, which is not a single transit, Vesta moves over into Libra. It's coming out of Virgo and it's moving into Libra. This is about the light inside of us. This is about our devotion, okay? Now, with it, move, with it moving there um, into the sign of Libra, that's your area of career that it's aspecting. So it's moving there, bringing you, making you more devoted to career, making you more devoted to making money in career where you've had restrictions and responsibilities, making you more devoted to work, health, and daily routines and where you are of service to others, forging you toward your North Node, okay? That's what this devotion is doing when it, while it's moving there. It's also bringing you, look at that, it's also bringing you assistance in career behind the scenes with shared finances and things that you're passionate about, okay? With uh, endings and new beginnings and things like that. It's gonna. It's behind the scenes. It's helping you out. Now, now your only friction in career is you and your in some of your career relationships. Okay, for some reason they're not vibing with you, or you're not vibing with people. It's just you know, you know something going on there. Something about um, you know your. Somewhere is this got to be has to, something to do with your dedication or somebody you're dedicated to, you know, you, you, something is going on there. All right. You got some good stuff coming out, though. You know, you got some good stuff coming out um, with these cards that I'm going to get into. Let's talk about Tuesday. Now, that transit with Vesta, that's that's a transit that, that's going to be there for quite some time. OK, now with Vesta, uh, with uh on Tuesday, the sun is in Cancer at 28 degrees. That's the day you want to listen to your instincts and keep your wits about you, okay? Don't divulge any important plans because there's someone in your midst who's trying to spoil them. Jealousy lurks on Tuesday, okay? That's for everybody. It's aspecting. On Tuesday, that's not a day to just be telling anybody your business, especially if you have any aspects in Cancer between 25 degrees going into Leo up until Leo at one degree, okay? You want to be very mindful of your relationships in career and in home and family. Somebody wants to ruin something for you, okay? And with Mercury and Cancer, sextiling Uranus and Taurus at both at 14 degrees, you could have a surprise that comes your way, okay? So that surprise is going to be some type of offer or assistance in a career relationship that has to do with creativity um, your um, or a romantic partner that wants to forge a new relationship with you. And that could be shocking. You find out somebody likes you, you know, out of nowhere because Uranus and Taurus is there. Um, and also your children, okay? Opportunities and assistance to forge relationships or new bonds with your children is there, okay? Use what you think and what you preach for that, for that, you know? And talk to them. Talk to them. Give me some clarification as to that seven of uh, wands. Oh, that's fast. All right. All right. Ooh, okay. Let's keep shuffling that on like that, uh that um 
tower tower card being a ooh. All right. I don't like that tower card being on the bottom. <sighs> on Wednesday, the sun is in Cancer at 29 degrees. Don't let your passions or your feelings get the best of you on that day. Be cool. Even if you want justice or revenge or you feel like you you know, want to act out against somebody acting on impulse will only make things worse. Okay. Wednesday is not the day to go jumping and doing something, you know, that you're going to feel sorry for. Okay. That, or that you're going to regret later. Okay. That's a day that everybody should be keeping their cool. Do not act on impulse. Okay. That's what the transit is telling you. Now, on Wednesday, also, Venus is going to move over from your area of uh, shared finances, and it's going to move over into your area of what you think and what you preach, education and skills, and where you are of service to others. What is going on with you, Cancer? I mean, Capricorn. Can you give me some uh, clarification as to this uh, or a sword? You got some, you really got some stuff going on. Balance, okay. I'm gonna stop right there because that's that's a lot going on. You got a lot going on. All right, before we start shuffling again, before I get into what Venus is bringing you, let's look at these cards. First of all, you've been worried about something, okay? Sleepless nights, worried about something. You need to balance yourself, okay? You need to balance your emotions. You need to balance your temper. You need to balance your... You just need balance. Temper rats, okay? Watch your temper. Take some time to rest if you need to. Take some time to rest and reflect because these cards are saying that you worried about something or you doing too much. You know, you... you I mean, I don't see the hard work card, so you're not doing too much. You just doing too much in the mind you're in your mind too much you got all these swords cards that's about being in the mind you know you you thinking about something too much you need to to gain some balance there okay because it's gonna cause you to go haywire and you don't want to go haywire because once you go haywire and especially at home, at home and family or even in career and people start seeing you as unbalanced or uh Un, just nutty, you know, <laughs> you, you want to watch that, you know, get some rest if you need some rest, okay? Now, you've got some type of offer being illuminated for you. Now, remember, Venus is coming into the area of what you think and what you preach, okay? And the sun is coming into the area of uh, your shared finances and things like that. I don't know if I've got to that yet, but I'll get into it. You got some type of offer aspecting you. It's saying go for the risk because something is going to be illuminated. It could be with a water sign person. It could be a male or a female. It could be um, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, okay? Some type of offer or assistance uh, is aspecting you. Um, it's a wands card. <laughs> That's funny because it's a wands card too. And the wands card is um, fire sign, Leo. Sagittarius and Aries, okay? And with that being the Ace of Wands, it's talking about good communication and creative success. Uh, creative success and new plans, okay? So this could be a person that's bringing this in to you and it's gonna make you feel abundant. The King of Pentacles, okay? It's gonna make you feel abundant. It could bring money your way, uh, security and things like that. You also have some type of payment coming in, okay? some type of gift, some type of money. That's even more money. That's changing your world, but you got a lot of options at your disposal and everything's not gonna give you what you want. So you wanna pay attention and you wanna be mindful of over admiring your circumstances, okay? Don't over admire your circumstances because you've been sticking it in there, okay? And been willing to forge forward. But something is going on with this seven of, wine, seven of swords card. Something is going on with the Seven of Swords card um, that talks about cunning, stealth, um, 
There may be someone in a situation who wants something from you. Be on your toes and keep an eye out for your personal possessions at this time. There's a lack of trust in a situation and you'll need to have your wits to triumph. Okay? All right? Now, this could be, um, you know, somebody trying to take something from you. Or this could be you sticking it in there and forging forward. Where you know you got your wits about you, you know, you know, you, you, you keep your wits about you. Um, oh, I want to know more about that. Can you give me some more clarification as to that goes? Because the chariot forges forward. You're sticking in there. You're submitting yourself at the top of a hill. But what is that about that seven of swords? Um, I want to know if they're talking about your money because we're getting into Venus right now and talking about Venus, the planet of romance, finances, a pleasure going into your area of education and skills, what you think and what you preach and things at a distance from you. So goodness coming to you from afar, goodness coming to you because of what you think and what you preach, money coming to you, even romantic partners, something you're reaching out for a discovery. Really? You're reaching out for some time. Okay, that talks about progress, planning for future, making future decisions, a reliable partner. Okay, you might even have a partner coming in, forging towards you, who might want something from you. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of somebody coming in offering you money. Make sure that they're on the. Make sure that they're on the up and up. But it says after a time of rest or wait, you got justice coming in. Either that or you going your own way has justice coming in one or the other, you know, or this could be an air sign person bringing you justice. You know, it could be either one of those. Okay. But just watch out for, you know, maybe somebody coming in offering you some type of money or something like that. Make sure that, uh, they don't want something else from you, you know? With Venus in that sector, your areas that trying, yeah, look at that, that came out again. It wants to talk about this. Don't over admire your circumstances. You know, choose wisely. This is about what you think and what you preach, your education and skills. Something at a distance from you is aspecting you to bring you blessings as far as romance, a creative endeavor, or a child. A child could be traveling, and that could be a blessing. A child could be coming back to travel to you. You could be traveling with a child, a romantic partner, and that could be a blessing. Okay, you're having a romantic times, a fun times, or pleasurable times. Somebody could reach out to you for a creative endeavor from afar. That's a blessing to you. You could have a romantic partner. Um, tr you know, uh, somebody likes you from afar, and it could shock you to find out who's vibing and... and you know, got eyes for you. Um, in addition to that, you've got opportunities and assistance with friends, goals, and social groups and uh, relationships. They're offering you opportunities and assistance. You know what? You might even get offered to, to be um, a leader of some type of organization, of some type of company, uh, to head up some type of department or something like that. You could be the head of an, a, a department as well. OK, um, you got a lot of options here at your disposal that somebody's coming with. The only thing you got to watch out is behind the scenes, um, lower vibrational tendencies or people at work talking about what you think and what you preach, talking about you behind your back. Um, that's your area of Sagittarius. Oh, you're coming out into the sun. Don't worry. Don't worry. The sun is about to be aspecting you. Don't worry. All right. Don't these sleepless nights. You got to, you got to, you know, something you've been worried about. Okay. You've been having some type of sleepless nights. Um, if this is about a mother, no, this might be about the lovers too. This might be about your lover at home. This also might be you and a lover forging toward for a home. Let me ask for a clarification as to that. Because that's not aspecting. Do you have, a, it, it, you might be with a water sign person. Scorpio, Pisces, or 
Cancer. That's about emotional fulfillment, forging toward, towards your emotional fulfillment, you and your lover. Maybe things have not been going good in your, um, you know, your romantic relationship. And, and now things are going to start getting better for you in, in, in your romantic relationship. And this is a time where you can, you know, travel with your lover and uh, have a better relationship. Look at that. You got just, you're getting the same cards again. You got justice coming in where you've worked hard. You got justice coming in where you've had a test of faith. You got justice coming in where you uh you can expect where you've had resilience and a test of faith, resourcefulness. There's a lot of activity now and you could be busy and under pressure, okay? Keep up with the accelerated work because discipline is going to pay off, okay? Discipline is going to pay off, Cancer, even if you Capricorn, even if you're going through it, it's going to pay off. Okay, and that's for 30 days that Venus is going to be in that sector of education and skills, what you think and what you preach, bringing you some goodness there. Now, on Friday is the full moon. That's an Aquarius, and that is your area of uh, money. Okay, so, so look at that. As soon as I said that, look at that card that came out. Security, abundance. She's calm. She's exuberant. Okay, that's the Pentacles card. She is warm. It's asking you to be that way. She's secure. She's grounded. She's a businesswoman or a provider of some kind, a woman of the arts. This talks about hard work. This is a positive card that predicts happiness, okay? You've got that happiness coming in and that abundance coming in, all right? Now, the full moon is in Aquarius. That's your sector of money. That's your sector of resources, okay? It's trining career and work health and daily routines, Okay, so you've got, you know, you've got those blessings in that area of Aquarius. All right, bringing some money in for you, some work, some work in for you. Um, you could be being of service to others. You could get some resources for a pet, a pet's health. You could be buying a pet. Um, this talks about progress and planning. Okay, progress and planning as far as your money and your resources. This person is looking out. Okay looking out to see what he can get looking out that's planning for the future future decisions with a reliable partner okay that's aspecting you your friction is going to be money resources with friends and goals and money resources with romance creative endeavors and children shocking things can pop up where you have to pay for something for a child a romantic partner or even a creative endeavor. In addition to that, you might be spending too much money on that. So you want to watch out. That's going to come out during the full moon. If you're being unfaithful to someone or cheating, that's going to come out now too. If somebody's doing that to you and they have any aspects around Aquarius in one degree, within three degrees of that, or three degrees of Aquarius, or uh, three degrees of Scorpio, or three degrees of Taurus, and they're cheating on you, it's going to come out. Okay, listen to your subconscious, your higher powers of the mind. It's going to come out and it's going to show itself. Okay, for those that are noble, the transit can show recognition coming to you. Okay, if you have any of those aspects within Aquarius or um, Libra or Gemini. Okay, that's going to bring you blessings. Your assistance is behind the scenes in home and family. Okay, for personal money and resources. Okay, for you to gain some type of closure that you're trying to gain, okay? Some type of emotional fulfillment that you're trying to gain. You've got that aspect in you, okay? But the hermit says to look within, and I think that was actually upside down. So um, the hermit says to look within, but with it being flipped around the way it was, it could point to unpleasant bouts of isolation and loneliness that could be tempered with that should be tempered with positive social time and supportive people. It could indicate a refusal to learn or to listen to advice, which can result in withdrawal from others and anger and resentment. It also can make you prone to over analysis and have a tendency to over intellectualize things rather than allowing your feelings to surface. Sometimes looking too closely at a thing will prevent you from seeing it at all. Okay. Get out of your head. Remember you had all those swords? Get out of your head, okay? Because you're, you're, you're doing too much. You're doing too much, and it's going to put you in a state of anger and resentment for no reason. Positive social time and supportive people is what you need right now, okay? And with that moon in Aquarius, uh, let's see. 
We talked about uh, work, health, and daily routine. We talked about you spending money and bills might pop up or something like that. You might have to spend some money. You might overspend or find that you have overspent. Your blessings are in career. We talked about that and work. So you'll be making money through career and work and being of service to others, buying a pet, money for a pet. And you have opportunities at home and family to gain closure behind the scenes, okay? Whether it's with money or whether it's with resources, okay? You have opportunities to tap into that, okay? Now, remember, Aquarius is directly across from Leo, all right? Venus is moving out of Leo. You're only going to have Mars left there in your sector of shared finances. Endings, new beginnings, and things that you're passionate about. It's in a direct access to it, which is a faded area for you, okay? So with Mars there, you got, you got Saturn, the planet of restrictions and responsibility, and the full moon there bringing something to a culmination directly across from Mars, the planet of energy and challenges. So when it's directly aspecting around that one degree, it's going to be a little tough. You know, you're going to have some challenges, some money challenges, and you might have some money challenges pop up for you. Okay, so you want to be you want to be mindful of that or or uh, or challenges to your resources in some way. Okay, so you want you want to be mindful of that around that full moon. But the full moon lasts for two weeks. The aspects of it, you know, come out in two weeks. It'll only be tough for those first few because actually Mars on the 27th is going to move out of Leo and it's going to move over where Venus is into Virgo. OK, so it's going to move out of your shared finances sector and it's going to move somewhere else. So it'll it'll be shaky for a few days. OK, but, you know, you'll get over it. OK, see that you got aspecting, feeling left out in the cold, not having enough money, not feeling abundant. OK, be mindful of, of where you let your mind go. Unpleasant bouts of isolation. OK, and loneliness should be tempered with positive social and supportive people. On Saturday the 24th, the sun is in Leo at one degree. Be mindful of changing or erratic emotions on that day, okay? That's aspected for everybody. Do something that you can do something to keep you grounded and centered. If you have several things to take care of, make up your mind as to what you want and tackle them one step at a time, okay? Something is going to be illuminated to you. The sun is coming where you have logical thinking, okay? Some type of offer it's coming in to you. It could be from a fire sign person, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. You need to, there's several things you need to pay attention to, though, with this uh, offer that's coming towards you, okay? All right? Use your clear thinking as to that offer, especially if you want the happy family, all right? Navigate the week with, I would say to navigate the week with positivity, Yeah. Keep it positive. Navigate the week of positivity. Keep it positive because you got money aspecting. Okay. Um, also navigate the week with. I don't want you overspending. You need to watch your money just because that full moon is there. It's directly across, especially especially for the few days after the full moon, the first three or four days. Watch your money. Don't overspend, okay, because you will find that you spent too much, okay, if you do that, all right? God bless you, okay? I'll see you guys next week, all right? Bye now.